Good day, ladies and gentlemen. It's Eric Coffin. I'm here at the September 2023 Mental Investors Forum in Vancouver. Um, I'm here with Gord Alcorn. He's the corporate development for a company that I just started following a couple of weeks ago, actually, called San Lorenzo Gold. Uh, San Lorenzo trades on the venture symbol SLG and trades on the QB, I think it is, um, S N. This is SNLGF on the QB. Uh, San Lorenzo has been around for two or three years. They, they have three 100% owned projects in Chile. Uh, the one they've been focused on in the last couple of years is called Salvadora. They drilled a, a discovery hole, I would call it last year, uh, which I didn't know about until a couple of weeks ago. Uh, this hole is kind of all by itself, a new target area, about 120 meters of a gram and a half gold and within that there's like 36 meters of four 4.2 gold there's a bit of copper in with it too but it's predominantly gold very nice discovery hole uh, a couple of months ago san lorenzo went back they drilled four holes uh two of them from the same pad to offset this discovery hole a couple of other ones 300 meters in each direction we're now waiting for the results of th those drill holes which should be in any day now but they just raised some money. They're probably going to go back. Uh, I was very impressed when I looked at this project. It's got three or four target areas. All of them have generated good drill results with really not very large drill campaigns. And when you look at the number of holes that have actually been drilled on this property and the number of good intercepts they've generated, it, it's pretty impressive. Uh, and it's in a great area in Chile. Uh, good access. It's not, it's not on top of the Andes. Easy to get in and out of. Um, so can you tell us, Gordon, now that, now that you've, you know, drilled these four holes and obviously we're, we're all waiting for assays and some of us dependent on that, but even kind of like the big picture sense, what, what's San Lorenzo's plan moving forward from here? Like, what do you, what do you guys do next? Sure. Well, <clears throat> as you mentioned, uh, the Salvador property is our, is our main focus, uh, with, with two other project property areas in the portfolio. Uh, in addition to that, but on the uh, on the San Lorenzo property itself, which is over 9,000 uh, hectares uh, in size, um, there's really numerous opportunities. If you if you look at the uh, uh, some of the mineralized zones that we've done some drilling on to date, um, as I mentioned in the presentation earlier today, uh, we have. Uh, uh, three uh, three por porphyry, uh, what we believe are porphyry related or porphyry uh, indicator zones. Um, uh, um, one one being the one that we've drilled up with the uh, discovery hole, uh, Cabrero Morto. Uh, we also have two additional zones that are epithermal vein systems, uh, the Arca de, Arca, Arca de Oro and the Tres Amigos. So. <clears throat> I guess uh, to answer your question in terms of where, where we go to next, obviously the results on the four drill holes, uh, the follow on, uh, what are referred to as the step out drill program uh, from the discovery hole last year on Cabrera Morto will, will help us to make that determination. But I guess, uh, I guess the point uh, I'm trying to make is that there's sort of numerous areas to continue to expand on this property. And so that's a uh, decision that have to be made with the with the management team yeah. when we get the results back. Okay, and uh, the other, you know, to maybe to give a flavor of the other zones. I mean, I think the Arco de Oro and the Tres Amigos, these were these were areas that the locals had mined. I mean, they weren't. I don't think they're big mines. Yeah, but they were. They were, by the sounds of it, fairly successful high grade mines. I think one of them was. I think one of those guys didn't finish until after you originally got the property. I think there was like... Yeah, uh, well, in fact, uh, there, uh, I think you'll find in, uh, in, uh, in, in Chile, uh, some of these uh, high-grade uh, vein systems are picked away at, if you will, at, uh, yeah. by, the, by the local communities or local miners. And, and that, that's, that's almost a bit of a right of way uh, as far as there's not, there's not too many uh, issues with that if you will uh there the historic mines you know that are referred to historical mines on these uh on these trends on these vein systems you know may they're not you know they're not uh huge operations by any means but they can 
uh, there is there is the odd group mining on on those that has been there, you know, before the claims were probably claims even, and uh, in that in that sense, uh, continue you know continue to take uh, take uh, copper gold out of there, uh, and that that ends up being represented as a mine on that on that property. Um, so um, the good news is that uh, you know it goes to, to the, how prolific the, the mineralization is there, yeah. um, and it's really not impactful on on the you know on the uh, on, on the on that system access or or the uh, the ability to uh, develop that for the company as, as well. And this property too is not you know you hear Andes and you think of hmm. you know you think of Maraconga six thousand meter high stuff. Uh, you guys. Are nowhere near that high, and you got you you don't have any. You got really good access. Yeah. So um, no, we're not uh, we're not anywhere near that high. There is no um, there's no issues with weather access or anything. They, uh, you know they they refer to the winter in Chile. The Chileans refer to it as getting quite uh, you know quite cold, and you know which is typically around uh, twelve to fifteen degrees Celsius. I think mm. uh, so. Um, as far as uh, infrastructure goes, um, we are as uh, we're 20 kilometers in distance from the El Salvador uh, mine, which uh, was uh, was started in the 1950s by a large U.S. mining company, and um, the infrastructure that was put in place to uh, reach reach that uh, that mine uh, is in part, you know, what gives us uh, access to ours. Um, again, the terrain and the landscape is really barren, uh, and uh, and uh, so a road is just simply a matter of taking a uh, a plow, you know, and, and clearing clearing it so it's flat. Um, it's uh, so again, it's year round. There's really uh, no restrictions on access to the property, and uh, and that mining infrastructure that was put in place at El Salvador is, you know, those, those aspects are available to us. There's a, there's an airstrip actually that uh, services that uh, that mine that's just across the river valley from us, and uh, and from our property you can actually see uh, see over to the El Salvador mine off in the distance, so it's mm. it makes it quite uh, quite a close neighbor. Okay, and in addition to the Caballo Merito, where we're waiting for these four drill holes, you know how many how many other target areas? If you guys have to work with right now, I mean, you've, you've got both epithermal and porphyry type targets, right? That's right. The, the two epithermal uh, systems that I, I've mentioned already, and then uh, and there's two other alteration areas that uh, could be indicative of uh, a porphyry expression. Uh, that is the uh, uh, Cerro Blanco mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and the and the uh, uh, Caballo South. Mm -hmm. uh, and again. Um, you know they're all they're they'd be within, you know they'd be within a, a kilometer from Caballo Merito, mm -hmm. you know which does sort of raise the question of the the system you know being pervasive across you know maybe not well the whole property in one sense but maybe uh, maybe these expressions are are commingled uh, underground as well. Right. Yeah. Okay. I mean, there you have it. I, I strongly recommend you. Uh, Visit the website uh, at sanlorenzogold.com. If you take a look at the project, I mean, I think you'll agree with me. If you just if you go through it, they've got the separate target areas listed, and they've got most of them have had you know one drill program, maybe two. So you're talking five, six, seven holes, maybe maybe for each one of these targets. But I think if you go through these, you'll you'll find the same thing I did, which is that all of these targets have generated very nice intercepts. I mean, it's really quite impressive how many good intercepts there are from a set of very small drill programs. This is clearly a, a, a very well min mineralized project. There's large scale mineral systems here. They have very, very big IP chargeability and omelets, uh, equally large copper golds uh, in soil and in talus and omelets. Really, really obvious hunting ground. Uh, I, I think this could be uh, a really good story going through the next 12 months. This isn't a company that's very well known at all. Most people I talked to initially had never heard of it. So San Lorenzo Gold, SLG on the venture. Uh, get it on your radar, take a look at the website, and keep your eye out for uh, imminent drill results. Thanks for coming by, Gord. Thank you, Eric.